Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You. And today I thought I'd do a quick little Q&A type get to know me video, okay? <laughs> so if that sounds like something that interests you, then let's get right into it. Chilling and having a good, good time. Okay, you guys, so it's day nine of the Christmas extravaganza. That's right. I wanna go ahead and get right into picking out a prize for this video. And then if you wanna see who won the $50 gift card from yesterday, then just stay tuned to the end of this video, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and see. I'm gonna be picking one of the cards out of the Noel box. So pretty. My ornaments are getting up, knocked out of the way. Let's try this one. And it's going to be $30. So I think in there, there's still the $100 left. So yeah, I hope you guys are continuing to come back. $30 for today. I'm going to set this over there, this over there. I'll give you guys the hashtag that you'll need to leave below at the end of this video, as well as um, you need to be publicly subscribed. Other than that, you're in. All right. So today I have on some kiss nails. Somebody said they noticed that I didn't say anything about my nails, but boy... These right here are beautiful. I said, I'm gonna call these my holiday nails. I have a couple more days of work before Christmas and yeah, I'm wearing my holiday nails to work. Okay, that's just what that is. So for today, I thought I'd let you guys get to know me a little bit better and answering some pretty generic, like get to know me Q&A questions. First, I was gonna open it up to everybody, but I think I didn't do that soon enough. So I might do one of those type of Q&As later on in like January or something. But for right now, let's get to some Q&A questions. And while we're doing that, I'm also gonna empty out my little coin counter because it's full of coins from all of my Christmas shopping and stuff them into the coin counter and the dollar challenge, okay? So let's see. First, let me empty out the coin counter so I can get this off the table. It has my driver's license on here. Like, let's just take what little dollars we have out of here as well as the coins and get it into a jar. Because what I am gonna be doing before the year is up is um, counting up this jar and adding that to a savings challenge, okay? I think I'm gonna add it to a savings challenge. I haven't exactly made made um, made up my mind. Anyway, we have a few ones and I'm gonna drop those over into the ones jar in just a minute. But first I'm gonna be stuffing some of these coins. This little wallet key holder, I love it. But when it's heavy, it's like really fat and all the coins are in there and I just can't deal with it. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and stuff this. I have so far $88.30 in here already. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these and I'll be answering the first question. Let me see, I found some questions on Pinterest. So I have them here on my phone and I'm gonna answer as many as I can, okay? They're pretty generic questions. Let's see, the first one is, do I have a crush? And mm, I don't really have a crush, I don't think. I think what's, what happened with me, I'm from originally from California. And so like celebrities are kind of overrated, you know? <laughs> and I just, um, I've seen a few of them in person and they never live up to the expectation that's in my mind. So yeah, I don't have any crushes, I don't think. I would say, if we're talking in real life, my crush is probably my guy. I love him. <laughs> okay, the next question is, when was the last time you cried? This one's pretty interesting. The last time I cried, I had a subscriber here who won a $40 giveaway. And she messaged me the next day and told me that she wanted me to give the $40 to my friend who was diagnosed with cancer and has a GoFundMe page that I posted about on my community tab. I also posted about it on Instagram and she follows me on both platforms. And she just said how much she loved my work, but she wanted me to donate that money that she had won in one of these giveaways to my friend. And so I did, I went on and did the giveaway with her name listed on the GoFundMe page and it actually brought me to tears. And I think the reason why it brought me to tears, it was like tears of joy, you know, that people actually, still care to give to others, even when they're given to themselves, you know? I don't know, it was such a selfless act of her and I just really, really, really appreciated it. And it brought me to tears. And still talking about it, I can well up if I think about it too much because it was just such a kind act, okay? All right, next, let's see. What is my biggest fear? 
Okay. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably already know this, but my biggest fear are bugs. I don't like bugs at all. Like, I think when I was younger, if I remember right, I had a phobia of bugs um, because a bug one time when I spent the night at one of my friend's house, I went to school. And when I got to school, a bug was crawling up my arm, a roach to be exact. Okay. <laughs> was crawling up my arm and we didn't have roaches at my house but um I think I picked up one at her house and I had it at school and the teacher had to knock it off my sleeve and stomp on it in front of everybody and after that I think psychologically I believe that bugs want to get on me and so I don't like bugs so for that reason I don't like gardening I do like um hiking though ironically but I don't like camping unless I can camp in a camper because I don't want to deal with bugs okay <laughs> And I don't really even like natural flowers. Like when people give you a flower bouquet, I feel like it brings gnats and bugs. And so I don't, I don't even like flowers. I'm not a flower girl. All right. The next question is, what is the last song you listened to? Let me see. What is the last song I listened to? Um, I think it was this song. Okay. Cause I, I looked back on a law of attraction video that I made from some time ago when someone commented about it and I went back to watch that video. And while I was watching the video, in that video, I actually played a song by Hezekiah Walker, and it's a song called Grateful, so it's a gospel song. And I think that's the last song I listened to today. That song is another thing that can bring me to tears. It didn't today, because I was, you know, so like, just excited to see what I thought at that time, three years ago when I made that video, you know? So I was watching myself, and <laughs> in there, I was listening to the song Grateful by Hezekiah Walker. Yeah, I think that's the last song I listened to. All right, we're all done with the coins. Let me see how many more questions I have. Who's the last person I text? Let's see. The last person I text is my friend um, Tamara, which I was gonna show you guys anyway what I bought with my um, $100 in this video. Um, let me put these ones away and then I'll show you guys what I bought. And I bought them from my friend Tamara. Here's big boy dollar challenge. I'm gonna put him in the jar. Put these in the jar, close them up. I'll be counting him sooner than later. So if you've been here with me, then you know that I spent $100 out of my own personal folder and I did it for my friend Tamara, who's the last person I just texted. I just got a phone with her. Um, and I bought these two items from her. One is this brown check and it has a wristlet. It's, they're both wristlets because if you know me, I don't really carry a purse. This little guy will be great, except for when I'm traveling, I want something else a little bit bigger just to hold some things. And so I bought this one, it's red on the inside. It's really pretty. Um, yeah, so that's the first thing that I bought from her. And the second one is very pretty. Um, it has this gold chain wristlet and then the bag. It has this on the cuff and you just unzip it. It's all black on the inside. It has one small pocket on the inside. I don't know if you can see that um, and it's quilted. So it's beautiful. She actually has some planners too. So I thought about getting a planner from her. I don't know, is that just too bougie and ridiculous? I'm not sure, but anyway, <laughs> I got those two for when I'm traveling. Next question up is, what is my relationship status? I think I talked about this in my 2022 goals when I was talking about how I manifested the love of my life, okay? Um, so I'm in, I consider a partnership, a life partnership with my guy and we're not married and maybe that'll happen. But for me, a solid relationship is like a thousand times more important than a marriage. I was married before in my younger years and I ended up divorced after 11 years and I had the marriage, but I didn't have the solid relationship. So now I say, I want the absolute solid relationship first. And if marriage is a byproduct of that, we'll do it. We've been together over five years and we're happy, you know, and I don't think there's any pressure on either side. He was married before as well. So there's no pressure on either side right now. We're just like enjoying life together and it feels so good. What's my favorite sports team? I don't have a favorite sports team. I'm not really even into sports, okay? My sister is a hardcore Falcons fan. I think um, if I had to say anything, I would maybe say the Lakers. And that's only because I grew up in LA and I was around the Lakers games. But I'm not really a sports person. If I never have to watch a sports event ever, I'll be fine. I do enjoy going to them, but because I want beer and a hot dog. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> That's the reason why I'll go to a hockey game, a baseball game, a basketball game, a 
football game. That's really what I'm there for. So I just don't really want anything to do with sports necessarily. It does not move me. What is your favorite color? My favorite color, if you've been here long enough, you probably already figured it out, it's black. I love black. It's just so neutral. It goes with everything and not necessarily black clothes. I do have some black clothes, but like black accessories, black shoes, black cars. I had black cars for years, even though they show all the dirt, I switched to white. So I'm pretty much a neutral girl, like black, white, you know, those are some of my favorite colors. What's your height? I am 5'9". I might even be 5'10", you know, but I, I always say 5'9". And it's funny because my um, daughter, she's six feet and she says she's 5'11". <laughs> she's 16, but she says she's 5'11". Um, and so she tries to downsize her size as well. And I think maybe I do that as well. I think I'm 5'10", but I, I've been saying 5'9 for years. It just rolls off the tongue. So I'm 5'9". The last book that I read, the last book that I read was Atomic Habits. I was um, given the book from my coworker who I work with. She had read it. She actually let me borrow it, but I never took it back to her. So she just said she went ahead and bought herself another one. I could have it. So there we go. <laughs> Atomic Habits is the last book that I read. And it was a pretty good read, actually. Let's see. Birthday. My, I am a Scorpio all the way through and through. Okay. So my birthday was in November, November 15th to be exact. And um, another one is, do you believe in love? You should already know the answer to that. I just told you about my boyfriend, the love of my life. Of course, I believe in love. I believe that um, some relationships along the way help you to grow, to get to the point where you're ready to receive a true love, you know? And I feel like I've had several relationships along the way who taught me lessons about self-love. And once I had that mastered, I was able to receive someone like him who he was actually going through the same journey at the same time. So... Had we met early in life, we probably would have never, you know, got along or made it this far or however you want to say it. But we've both matured a lot through our past relationships. So true love is here. Okay. One says day or night. I'm definitely a day person. I'm the girl who's up at like 5 a.m. And um, I'll probably be asleep by like nine o'clock. You know, 9.30, if you're looking for me, I'm probably asleep. That's the type of person I am. Recently, I've been staying up a lot later to reply to you guys' comments. But once I go to bed, I'm like, I got to catch them at 5 in the morning. And sometimes I do reply to comments at 5 in the morning. I'm really like an early bird, a true early bird. Do two more. One says, do I drink? And I do drink on social occasions. And very rare at that. Like I said, I might drink a beer at a game. Um, I might take a shot of liquor if I'm with a girlfriend out for dinner or drink a margarita or a whiskey sour. But overall, I, I would consider myself not a drinker. I don't have any alcohol in my home. I don't really drink at home. Alcohol physically makes me sick. That's the only reason why. I'm not judging anybody who drinks, but my stomach doesn't tolerate it too well. So, and anyway, my vice is really food. <laughs> I like food more than drink. So I'll, I'll definitely take an appetizer over a margarita any day. The next one is, do you have any tattoos? And I have one tattoo right on my face. It's a tiny, tiny mole that a friend of mine put on with Indian ink, a needle, and thread with an ice cube to numb <laughs> when I was 13 years old. Me and my sister both got the tattoo. And then um, when we were on our way to church, my mom said, wipe that off. She thought we had drawn it, like, drawn it on but we couldn't wipe it off because we had got tattooed. And when she realized it, I think she about flipped. I was 13, my sister was 15. Um, so yeah, I do have that tattoo still. I, I think about going back and getting it toned brown a little bit because over the years, it's starting to turn green. You know how a tattoo turned green? <laughs> so I got a green mole on my face. It's just unacceptable. And the last thing, are you currently happy? And I would say, I think at this age and this time in life, I'm happier than ever. I've really been making conscious decisions about choosing what brings me joy and doing the things only that bring me joy at this time, okay? And I think for a long time, I sacrificed a lot of myself to help others or to take care of others or, you know, I've always been kind of like more of a giver than, than giving to myself. And I've learned the importance of giving to myself and thus, it has made me so happy. I'm doing the things that I truly, truly love and yeah, I would say it reflects across several areas of my life, the joy that I'm living now. And I think that's everything for today. The sun is setting. I need to edit this video so I can get it out for you guys. Um, we're playing today for $30. If you want to be involved in that, then let's see. We need something for the number nine. Let's go with nine fun facts. 
since that's what the video was about, right? Nine fun facts. Hashtag nine fun facts. That'll be the hashtag you put down in the comment section if you want to be considered for the $30 gift card. And do all the things like, comment, subscribe, share this video with others so they too can get to know me, get to know about my channel. Stay tuned so you can see who won the $50 gift card from yesterday. And I think that's everything, you guys. Take care. Well, it's time to see who won the giveaway from yesterday's video. It was day eight of the giveaways. And don't forget, the hashtag was hashtag eight financial goals, all in relationship to the financial goals I had for 2022. And it, we are playing for a $50 gift card. Let's see who won. It is Eunice Eason. Eunice, reach out to me on my Instagram DMs and I will get you your gift card. Just my little space, my space.